Number 20 in James Reyes's 40 Modern Studies for Clarinet is a piece called Down to Earth, and it is a lively swing piece. Uh, and it's reasonably challenging. It has some high notes, it has some syncopation, has a, a swing section that has a mixture of on and off beats, uh, and also has a, a good mix of articulation. So there's lots of challenges all around. So I'm just going to play it straight through and then touch on a few of those aspects. typical James Ray fashion there's a lot of repetition here so there is a four uh, sorry there's an eight bar phrase it gets repeated twice then we have a different eight bars which is that middle section which is quite complicated and then we bring back the original eight bars and conclude the piece there's a high note right at the beginning so how do we get this high note because it's kind of a beginner intermediate level piece it's gonna be a bit of a stretch sometimes to get this high note so here's a technique they like to do just to make sure that your lips know what they're in for when playing this high note so you start on a g and just slur up to it don't try and tongue at the stage just slur up to that c and try and hold that c for as long as you can now what this is like is basically taking a dumbbell holding it out for ages until you get the shakes and this is pretty much what your lips going to be doing if you haven't got a, a well-developed embouchure at the stage now once you've got that note slurred try and tongue it now this is almost a video in itself how to get these high notes nicely but this is a good little exercise you want to let your lips know what they're in for and your cheeks and everything let them know what they're in for in order to achieve that high C because you want to take um, that energy you requ require to do this high note and then get it straight away okay articulation wise we've got a hat so that's like a punchy staccato but then we have an accent so you're you're like your miniature diminuendo, you hit it, you always fall away. You never make an, an accent louder, it always gets softer. Bow, bow. And then some ordinary notes, bam, bam, another accent, bam, 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 do ba, and another marcato at the end. So the articulation itself is, is character, it's, it's creating its, um, it's definitely its own language. Now, the rhythm, we have swing. So one and two and three and four, and we have a mixture of on and off beats. So right at the beginning, we have an off beat. You have to get the one and two and three and four and feel. So we have one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, and one, two, three, four, and so unless you feel that groove, it's gonna get really hard to place these notes perfectly. So let's imagine I just swing everything out. A trick that I highly recommend you got to be your own metronome at the stage you want to feel that pulse yourself one and two and three and four and, and if it all just gets a little bit confusing just put it all in the swing quavers and piece it all together so let's go to the middle section tricky when you look at it and try and play it so sure if you listen to me and then play it back 
like a parrot. That's perfectly okay, but let's just try and understand what's going on here. So we have a mezzo forte at the very beginning, it's a lead in, and one. So you count yourself in, one and two and three and four and one. Three. <laughs> the next notes, you have to spot that we now have and three. And one and two and three and four and one. So we have a whole bunch of notes that are landing on ands. And one and two and three and and. Now we have to hold this and wait for beat two to arrive. Do da. Now we have a tie. Do not let the ties confuse you for the purposes of counting rhythm. Imagine they're not even there. Two and three. Da da da. Do da. Now we have to hold this. Now, remember in music, it's not so much about how long a note goes for. It's when does the next note come in. This note could be staccato, could be accent, could be marcato, could be a whole bunch of things that make this note shorter. But what doesn't change is the and, and one that comes next. So let's do this rhythm again. So despite these ties being here, if we made them short, what does not change? Two and three and one. Let's try that bar 17, about that bar 19. Let's just do the 19 right all by itself. So what have I done? I've just broken it up into quavers again. Let's do the lead in note. So we have and one and two, three, four and one. So always feeling that swing groove. Another lead him. So again, it's just a matter of trying to recognize the swing rhythm. And one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. And don't let all the lines of slurs and ties confuse the fact that we just got a bunch of swung quavers and then a bunch of crotchets. So that syncopation bar 23 is quite tricky, but again, it's that sense of ands. If you can recognize the notes as being on ands, one and and we have ba do ba ba da ba do wa, and it'll all start rolling together. So here's this middle section all over again. As a lively swing feel, it can be as lively as you like. James Rowe hasn't been prescriptive here. There is no tempo marking, but you can imagine what lively could feel like. Ba -do, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. down to earth.